Another style tip I want to give you is with regards to checkboxing elemental form. So over here, we've got a checkbox and I've got my options and I'm going to make it be an inline list. Notice how the box uh, over here isn't actually in line. When you click it, we get an orange background and black text. And again, you could start to mess around, but styling for this is very, very limited. I don't like how the box is kind of elevated a bit. But we're going to change that with a bit of CSS. Now, number one tip I want to give you is I've gone and created a field and I've called it options. If I go to the advanced tab, the ID for this, I've called option. OK, you call it options if you want. I've just called it options. You go to the advanced tab. What we're going to do is drop in a bit of CSS that you will find in the video description. And this is now saying selector for the elemental field option. OK, so we're now touching that particular field display flags and I've gone and given it an accent color. And you'll now see that when I click here, you can see we get a different color pop up. I could change that to be what I want. And you could modify this if you feel like you want to rearrange, you know, how elevated or how much in the center it is. But just to remind you, if I get rid of that code, that's what it looked like before. Look how close the option is to the box as well. It's now slightly separated. So I'm adding in a bit of breathing space, number one. But I've also got control over how close it is to the box and how elevated it is and what the background color is as well. Again, another tip for making your checkboxes on your elemental forms be a little bit more accustomized to your bespoke nurse of your branding website. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.